Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 53. I think in the last episode I said that was 53, but there was actually 52. Yeah, never mind. Right, so the first job that we need to do is we need to correct our planting error or our seeding error. Error. Where we had this rather large island in our field of wheat. So we planting um, some spring wheat just to cover that. It will of course be harvested slightly later than the than the autumn wheat which is already in and in the other fields. But uh, we'll still get a full a full field field of wheat. So I'm not too worried about that. Just to compensate for the difference in the two yields between the two I've um, I won't roll this this field and that'll give us slightly less yield f by way of punishment really trying not to overplant too much simply for that reason that's not too much of a problem because that would have been rolled already so it actually looks like the field has been rolled in the center as well so it may still count I'm not sure we'll see don't think it should no it needs rolling that's right yeah yeah so we won't roll the field just that'll be our punishment the drop in heel because of that it's not much one or two percent I think it's going for pretty well I've had to concentrate just to make sure everything is properly seeded so we are losing a little bit of the autumn seed but not a huge amount and from now on there will be none <laughs> it's the rest of the episode uh, is about collecting some money and putting the money together because I want to repay the loans this this month so we did do a collection in February which we didn't show um, as part of the winter months little package if you want to call it that so I'm going to whip through the collections and the and the deliveries and the uh, and such like of all the all the all the productions fairly quickly because there's a lot of them it's taken me well over real-time hour just to deliver all our goods that we make um, which I suppose at the end of the day is a, a su successful farm so this is what we're all about so we are now into into April and uh, we are going to sell all the clothing that we've made and we've got about 25,000 litres or 25 pallets of clothing that we've accumulated over the last year or so. And we're going to go and get those sold. So we will sell them at our, through our farm store. And we should get quite a bit. This is going to be a. This is what's going to actually repay our loans. It's going to go a long way to repaying our loans. Yeah, so that's over four hundred thousand there. Um, I think we've only got one more to go. One or two more to go. How many have we got to go? I think we've got one. One left in storage. Yeah, and a couple out there, so. 
Not to be scoffed at. Let's get these delivered. I've done the, I haven't added anything onto these just so that we can see more or less what we've got for the for the clothing. There we go. Another hundred or thousand, so yeah. Over over five hundred thousand there. And we're over the million mark in terms of cash in the bank. So as I mentioned the I was going to wait till the end of the video to tell you guys but we this is going to be the penultimate episode um, we're going to repay the loans we're going to collect well we're going to um, keep the productions going but I am um, basically I'm stopping the supply to the production so when they run out they run out over the next couple of months so we're going to after this episode we will off camera we will do a few months of bringing in the harvest and then once that's done and we've as I said we've run down the productions as far as we can we will come back for the last episode which will be basically sell everything and um, see where we stand see how much we've made I do have a record of what we started with in terms of machinery and and money but we'll get into the detail of that in the next episode Yeah, I think uh, this is a good time to end the series. It is um, it's getting big, the farm. Um, as I say, just to bring in the productions every month is taking well over an hour's gameplay, which I don't mind at all, but. Um, and I don't think there's much more that we can really do or there's always more that you can do in a series but I don't think there's much more we can we do on the can do on this series um, and I've loved it I've loved this map it's been brilliant absolutely brilliant so that's the main reason why I'm just showing all the well, quickly showing um, all the collections for this month up until we repay our loans or in a position to repay our loans, let's put it that way. I'm just checking to see. This, uh, with this auto load I always have to make sure that I'm in the right mode and sometimes otherwise we get the suspended boxes as such <laughs> uh, not, it, it, I mean it hasn't been too much of a problem but uh, yeah so that's why quite often before I do the um, or pick up a selection of pro product you'll notice I stop just for a couple of seconds and that's just to make sure that I'm in the right the right mode I really don't like the floating part of the well when the mod floats but um, small little niggly things that uh, that don't um, oh, they don't stop me enjoying the mod. The the mod. They just um, and it's probably something I'm doing wrong. 
I'm just going to keep a couple of boxes of eggs out because I think I'll keep the mayonnaise production going just for a little while. We've got quite a bit of canola in the in the um, in the oil factory, and I want to just um, keep the mayonnaise going during during the first couple of months while we're waiting for the crops to to mature. Yeah, I'm not going to show that we've seen, as I said, I'm going to do that all off camera. We've seen a lot of um, a lot of the arable farming that we've been doing. And you, actually you've seen a lot of this as well, but this is just the last one that we're doing. So, as you can see now, I'm going to be selling all the product. The greenhouses, I'll make sure that they've still got water in, but if they run out of basic product, well, we've got a lot of manure, so I'll probably keep them going to till just about the end. Um, but some of the bigger productions, we'll try and keep the potatoes going as well. Um, in the last episode, you would recall that we bought um, some canola in from the international market to keep the oil production up and that's just because we've still got a lot of potatoes in there. I uh, did consider waiting until that has been finished as well but it's just yeah it'll just drag on too long and by that time we would have done something else that yes I'm not entirely sure exactly how we're going to work out what what we end up with or how successful or unsuccessful we've been and it's also a good time to end because I think this is the by that time we'll be the at the end of our fifth year of gameplay so yeah it's a, kind of a right time to end we, on average we're getting uh, I would say between 200 and 400 thousand income per per month so per day stroke month um, of gameplay which I think is reasonably good we've already paid off the one loan we have a few loans still to repay but once that's done it's done nearly forgot to collect the, um, the fruit juices there we go, you see that's just a little stop. <laughs> there should be more in storage here. Still got to do whatever we've got in town as well, so... Yeah, it's... It's a big job. And the reason why I'm going to... Not just sell up straight away is because we've got quite a few fields so we've got the field across the road now which will be its first complete harvest we did harvest when we bought it but um, it'll be her first plant and harvest of us of that we've done ourselves so I wanted to do that we've got um, quite a few canola fields and then we've got the wheat fields so there's a lot of there's a lot of um, money sitting in the fields at the moment so and I want to get that done but I thought instead of um, going through the whole harvesting process which I think we went through we've been through quite extensively uh, throughout the whole series um, we'll just do it all put it into the silos and then we'll do a, our last ep episode will just be basically seeing where we are tying up all the loose ends as such. Will we yeah we should be able to get it all onto this this load. And I think we've got some milk to do and that'll be the farm collected. The farm productions collected. Where are we sitting at now? 1.3 million 
pretty good. I did go back uh, to the original video just to see if I could work work out exactly what um, what vehicles we started with because I've kind of forgotten <laughs> and um, and what their value was. I um, was lucky that w that I had gone through all the vehicles that were in the garages uh, when we first started, so I knew exactly how much the resale value was. Um, plus, of course, we started off with a hundred thousand dollars. So um, we'll find you'll find out in the next episode exactly how much we started with, which we will deduct from whatever cash we have on hand to start with and then we will just sell everything from there on in except for the original farm we'll leave that yeah uh, we'll leave that as unsold because basically we started with it we didn't we didn't buy it So we'll, at the end of thing we'll have the, this farm, not back to, to I mean, these changes we've made. So there'll be blank areas where we've changed things, but um, any of the original buildings will still be there. So the last episode will be rather interesting just to see how much we've made in five years here. Yeah. This is all about one of the main goals of uh, well of the original of the original uh, well goals I would say of the farm when we started all those all that time ago. Now it's probably been. Well, it's probably uh, one of the most successful maps that I've that I've done. I've certainly one of the ones that I've enjoyed the most. The ones that I'm doing now, Eco Farm one, I'm enjoying, and the other one that I really enjoyed and was really well received was the was the city farm or the urban farm that we did. That was another good series. But we'll do that in a recap of the of Farming Simulator 22 towards the well towards November time basically. We'll we'll leave that one mayonnaise there for now. So everything in town we're just going to sell through to the diner. Pineapple production has already stopped because we ran out of pineapples in the pizzeria. We have overstocked certain things like the pizzeria is pretty much well, he's overstocked on um, flour. Um, some of the places are overstocked on sugar. The sugar production was so lucrative, and that's why I've stopped that as well. try to get out of here without selling any of the butter back to the are we gonna are we gonna be able to do it yeah with a bit of a bump here and a bump there <laughs> luckily we got the big we got the big tractor over here so we'll just go and put this into the to the diner yeah and we just over well, well over 14, uh, 1, 1. 1.4 more. It's pretty happy with that. So I think we'll just pop into the bank and go and settle up our loans. There we go. 
So we got, we owe six hundred and ninety five thousand. So we'll pay those off. Hundred and ninety seven on this loan and a bit eight hundred and eighty seven. We'll repay that. And then we've got just under half a million to repay on the big loan that we took. And that's us paid up. All done. Fantastic. Love that. Buy an ice cream on the way up. <laughs> and off we go. I suppose we might as well. Should we pick up the mayonnaise? No, I don't think we're going to. We decided we weren't going to. We'll leave it there for for collection. With well, we should really have collected it, but still. There'll be another sort of 50,000 on that, so it'll be over 800,000 if we had picked that up. But yeah, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next big one. If you've enjoyed the series, enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.